What up, Mr. DeRuvo and the s physics class? Here's my project, because I'm gangster like that. Here's our objective. To test whether centripetal forces act by pushing an object towards or away from the center of a circular motion. You know that Isaac Newton guy? He's pretty, he's pretty famous, right? Well, there's a famous story about Sir Isaac Newton and the discovery of gravity where an apple fell on his head while he was sitting beneath an apple tree. Whether or not this story is true, Newton was a careful observer of the world around him. His genius was to use mathematics and science to describe natural phenomenon which, at the time, were not understood. Newton made many discoveries. The laws of gravity, colors, prisms, advanced mathematics, and motion. Newton's third three laws, actually, of motion are still in use today, and can be found in almost any modern moving technology. One of the most important concepts of Newton's law is that objects at rest stay at rest, and objects in motion, they stay in motion. This basically means once I am still, it is hard to get moving, and once I am moving, it is hard to stay still. Newton discovered that to get an object to move, it must experience a force that makes it move in a certain direction. Once the object experiences the force, it is set in motion and will continue this motion until it experiences an opposite force that causes the motion to stop. We have all felt this phenomenon when riding a car. When we start to drive, we rock backwards because our body isn't ready for a sudden forward movement. But after we are moving, if we need to slam on the brakes, we will rock forwards because our body wants to keep moving forward in the same direction. This example describes what happens when we experience motion in a straight line, but what about other, other types of mo uh, movements? Newton realized that when things move in a circle, that the object wants to move out, away from the center of the circle. In the car example, we experience this circular motion when we turn a corner. Our bodies move to the outside of the turn, away from the direction of the turn. So, if our bodies want to move away from the turn, then what makes us move in a circular path? This is what Newton described as a centripetal force, or a force that makes an object move or accelerate towards the center of a circle. Without centripetal force, the object would move in a line. In the car example, the weight of the car, gravity, and the friction of the road keep us in our seat moving in a circle. Now how about a loop-to-loop -loop roller coaster? The tracks are moving in a circle, and we, have, and we move along with it, but what is keeping us in our seat? We know that gravity is a force pushing us down toward the ground. If this is the force, then our seat belt is holding us in our seat. But we also know that we are in motion towards the outside of the circle because of our weight. If this is the force, called momentum, then it is our seat holding us in our seat. Which force is it? In this experiment, I will use paper cups, marbles, and two different colors of jello to see the movement of an object during circular motion. Which way will the marble go? Nobody knows, except for me when I'm done with this uh, lap. Enjoy. Alright, so here's basically what I did. I made some jello, then I made another batch, and then I put a marble in between the two. So that way I could see where the marble would be traveling after I swing it around 20 times with a centripetal force generator. Next, I removed the jello from the paper cups and observed the marble's path of travel using the contrasting colors of the jello. In conclusion, what I have learned is that when using centripetal force, it tends to move towards the center. But when using centrifugal force, it moves away from the center. Yup, still gangster.